हेलो फ्रेंड्स एटलांटिक रीजन ऑफ कैनेडा कंजिस्ट ऑफ फोर एटलांटिक प्रोविंस नेम विथ न्यू ब्रुंसविक नोवा स्कोशिया न्यू फाउंड एंड लेब्राडोर एंड प्रिंस एडवर्ड आईलैंड लोकल एम्प्लॉयर्स ऑफ दैट रीजन आर हैविंग अ शॉर्टेज ऑफ स्किल वर्कर सो प्रोविंशियल गवर्नमेंट अलॉन्ग विद द फेडरल गवर्नमेंट केम अप विद द पायलट प्रोजेक्ट विच इज नोन एज एटलांटिक पायलट प्रोग्राम अंडर दिस प्रोजेक्ट लोकल एम्प्लॉयर विल बी एबल टू हायर स्किल्ड वर्कर ओवरसीज सिंस दे आर नॉट बी एबल टू फाइंड देम लोकली इन रिटर्न स्किल्ड वर्कर हु इज आउटसाइड द कैनेडा विल रिसीव अ परमानेंट रेसिडेंसी एंड गेट अ चांस टू सेटल डाउन इन टू दैट एटलांटिक रीजियन सो इट्स अ विन विन सिचुएशन फॉर द बोथ एम्प्लॉयर्स एंड द स्किल्ड वर्कर दो प्रोसीजर इज वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड एंड इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज ऑफ लेक ऑफ नॉलेज एंड लेक ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन सो मेनी इंटरनेशनल स्किल वर्कर गॉट स्कैम्प बाय द रॉन्ग पीपल टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ दे गॉट स्कैम्प एंड हाउ वी कैन प्रिवेंट डेट टू हैपन विथ अस आई केम अप विथ दिस वीडियो आई विल ट्राई माई बेस्ट टू कीप इट एज शॉर्ट एज पॉसिबल बट एट द सेम टाइम आई वुड लाइक टू कवर ऑल द इम्पोर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ दिस प्रोजेक्ट सो विदाउट फर्दर ड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Hello friends my name is Akash Sa and welcome to my YouTube channel before i start this video if you haven't subscribed my channel yet consider it to subscribe for more video on canadian immigration tons of video coming soon now let's talk about atlantic pilot let me give you a quick overview how this program actually works an employer into the atlantic region will offer you a full time permanent job once the candidate received a job offer he can apply for a permanent residency under atlantic pilot program if candidate's application approved by the provincial government he will receive a permanent residency and start working here this is very basic overview but there are so many steps to follow before you actually apply for a permanent residency if you really want to know more about each and every steps i have already made a video on my channel which explain you a step by step procedure how to apply for a atlantic pilot program i recommended you to check it later on now let's discuss where people got scammed under this pilot project employer can only provide a job offer to overseas candidate when they are designated by province so as an applicant we want to make sure the job offer we received must be from the designated employer so let me tell you how you can check that each provincial government has updated list of designated employers on their official website you can find employer's name address type of noc code in which they are designated to offer a job and other details from there For example as you can see here right now I am on Newfoundland and Labrador provincial official website let's say I got a job offer from the employer name with Auto Impact Solution Limited so what I would do in this small search bar I would type Auto Impact Solution Limited as you can see here if employer is designated I should find them in the search result moreover from here i can verify its location even when they got designated by the province and most importantly type of noc code category in which they are designated to offer a job offer now let me take this thing out now for example let's say this time i got a job offer from employer name with e can accounting so i'm going to do the same thing i will find in the search bar e can accounting but as you can see here this time i'm not be able to found any record of that employer into the designated list which directly tells me that employer is not designated by this province there is no possible way that this employer can help me with my pr application through atlantic pilot program so by this way you can verify employer's name information and save yourself getting into the fraud so for the accessibility i have provided links of each and every provincial designated employer list into the description please check it out 
be careful over here most of the people got scammed by this point you don't want to be a victim here next is about the job offer when employer offers you a job it should be on a form of imm 5650 imm 5650 is offer of employment form for the foreign national you have to sign that form and give it back to your employer your employer will need that later on the process of filing your permanent residency so if any employer provide you a job offer in any other form you might want to be stop there and think that must be something fishy over there you can ask your employer to provide a job offer only on form imm 5650 I have provided the link to download the form IMM five six five zero into the description. Once you got a job offer, you need to work on your settlement plan with settlement service provider. Settlement service provider will give you a tailor made specific plan for you as per your specific need and the family size. You have to submit that plan to your employer. so if you are not doing any of that process you must be doing something wrong your employer may give you a contact of specific settlement service provider or you can choose it by yourself i have provided link in the description which give you the list of all the registered settlement service provider with respective province last but very important under the atlantic pilot you can only apply for permanent residency when you receive endorsement certificate from the province when your employer submit signed copy of imm 5650 and settlement plan provided by you to provincial government they will process that application and if they approve it they will send endorsement certificate direct to the candidate which means direct to you once you receive that endorsement certificate you can apply for permanent residency straight away but if you are not getting that certificate think twice before going forward with any future step i hope this is something that you may find informative you can hit the like button below to support my efforts if you have any question regarding atlantic pilot program you can ask me in the comment section below i will try my best to respond it as soon as possible See you in the next video until the next time goodbye